Hello and welcome back to Personal Finance Made Easy. In this video, I, I wanna show you a stimulus check calculator. Now this is a great tool if you're concerned about the amount of money that you can receive because as I've mentioned a few different times, the amount of money has changed almost significantly and you wanna make sure that you are positioning yourself to get the most money possible. Now, if you click on this link, now this is from a KT, LA. If you go over to ktla.com, I'll leave a link down in the description. They've actually linked out to this calculator that I mentioned last week. It's called the American Rescue Plan Calculator by Jasmine Ma, I believe her, her last name is pronounced. And if you click on this link, it'll take you over to this calculator. Now this calculator is incredibly handy because it tells you gives you a rough idea of the amount of money that you'll receive. So it asks basic questions. Have you filed 2019 or 2020? If you've received a stimulus check before, the answer is yes. Filing status, we'll put, um, we'll put married. How many dependents? I'm going to say three. And then uh, the income in 2019 or 2020 AGI. As I mentioned, they are going to base the third stimulus check on your most recent tax filing. So let's say, let's say you made 138 as a couple. Yeah, 138 as a couple. It's saying that you could receive seven thousand dollars. So this is very, very, very important. Um, and again, it's the uh, Omni calculator. If you click the link in the description to go to this KT la.com it's going to be one of the first links but this is a very cool tool to play with now obviously they can't guarantee that you're going to receive this amount of money but this is a pretty good way to 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 figure out if you're going to receive money and if you should file your your taxes um if, if you should file 2020 so what you're going to do is figure out what your agi was from 2019 so if, let's say you're single and you made let's say eighty one thousand dollars you're single, you made $81,000, um, it will spit out a number, most likely zero. So let me refresh here just to make sure. Um, so yes, single, uh, we'll say $81,000. I know $81,000 is the, whoops, <laughs> that's not right. Um, I know that $81,000 is the cutoff. So if we put um, $81,000, you can see it's zero. Your income in 2019 was too high. So that's, this is a pretty cool tool that will help you figure out if you should file your taxes. Now, again, my expectation is that the House of Representatives is going to take it up today on Tuesday. They're going to go back and forth, probably haggling. Um, they've probably been doing that in the back office just a little bit. Now it's going to be front of the camera posturing. It'll eventually get pr approved um, Wednesday, Thursday at the latest. As soon as Joe Biden gets it, He's going to sign it because uh, jobless benefits are set to expire on March 13th, so this Saturday. So it's really important for him to, uh, for for the House of Representatives to to approve everything, get it signed off, get it to his desk, so it can become, um, so so the jobless benefits don't don't expire. And one of the things with the jobless benefits is they're going to extend them out through um, September. If this is a cool calculator, definitely go check it out and you can play with this as much as you want. Um, share this video to people that are on the fence about their their tax filing. So if we hit refresh again, um, again, let's say you're single. Let's say you have five kids. Oops, that's a 50. That's a lot of kids. Uh, let's say you have five kids and you made, um, let's say you made 38,000 um, last year you potentially could receive $8,400. So some people are gonna be in for a little bit of a shock if they put in um, 50 kids or if they put in too much money, if you made $380,000, um, that's gonna be um, that's gonna be a significant change. But again, it has single married heads of household, three significant, the three significant factors. Um, so again, $38,000, five, um, you're not gonna get any money. But if we change that to, I think it was one, 11 500 112 500 is that cutoff um, so um, let's add another zero here you can see them it changes uh, because I know that the the cutoff is eleven thousand five hundred but if we change this to a two here you can see um, one hundred ten thousand five hundred dollars is that cut off so um, definitely check this out also go back and make sure that you read the article um, a lot of this is just kind of repeat and rehashing the things that I've been covering over the last few few days and, and weeks but 
Um, this it, it, it's going to get pushed through re real soon here. Uh, the other thing that I found interesting, it was a 50 to 49 party nine vote. And you thought, okay, we know that it was going to be 50 50 because there's 50 Democrats and 50 uh, Republicans. And we would have needed Pre Vice President Harris's uh, tie breaking vote, but it turned out it was 50 49. So the senator in Alaska missed the vote to attend his father in law's funeral. So that's why um, it seems like one vote is missing. Um, unfortunately, Dan Sullivan's father in law passed away, so he had to miss it. But most of this is all rehashed information. Um, Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, um, they're going to start taking this up today. Um, today's Tuesday, March 9th. They'll take that up today. And I fully expect things to get moving and for us to have some sort of resolution on this third stimulus check by the end of this week. Always keep it locked in right here because for stimulus check number four and potentially reoccurring, uh, that was something that was discussed last week. Senator Cory Booker and nine other senators suggested reoccurring stimulus um, that would be much easier for americans because haggling back and forth and going back and forth about um, trying to get stimulus and different provisions takes too long for the american people um, bills don't wait for for congress to have discussions and so it would be incredibly beneficial um, the other thing that's that will be eye-opening is if and when you file your taxes based on your stimulus and or if you received unemployment. That'll be some eye-opening information um, when you start filing your taxes. That'll be kind of a gotcha. So um, go ahead and file your taxes. Let me know what happens if, if you're shocked, if you're confused by, by after you filing your taxes. So uh, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell so that you're notified when I upload brand new videos covering the third stimulus.